Yeah, do so, you want to give us your kind of um, your general sort of outlook at the minute and kind of in the context of what I'm saying about this squeeze that's ongoing? Yeah, absolutely. So I always think it's a good um, good practice, you know, just because we have different, um, you know, different types of investors watching to kind of think about the world in different durations, um, you know, sort of from a risk management perspective, we tend to focus on things that happen occur, you know, under one calendar year, that tends to be where most of the volume and actions and, and, and trading tends to take place. And if you think about it on a sort of six to 12 month forward basis, uh, we're pretty sure that we, we know that we're going to wind up in a state where the Fed is very clearly pausing, assessing the damage that is done to the economy through the you know, long and variable lags that monetary policy tends to work uh, through the economy in terms of um, you know, trying to achieve its inflation objectives. Um, that you know, sort of the, the path to getting to that state is likely to occur over the next few months, um, you know, which is the Fed will sort of signal officially to market participants that um, you know, sort of it's concluded its, its rate hiking process um, and it's about to do that. So um, it's our view that that process there is likely to contribute to some upside uh, tail risk and right tail risk in the market, uh, just given what positioning is and given what sentiment is. The problem with the, that, from our perspective, and again, this is our view, and we can debate this uh, later in the presentation, is that I don't know that the path to getting to that pause is as clear as the markets are probably interpreting it um, this week. And again, we're recording here on, on, on Tuesday, October 25th. Um, it's our view. You know, there's a couple of inflation reports between November 2nd and um, December 14th um, uh, Fed meeting. And it's not clear to us from the perspective of how strong and resilient the U.S. economy has been that we're going to see any materially positive dynamics on the inflation front, particularly with respect to core inflation. So, um, we think there's certainly risk relative to a lot of the incremental positioning in the market between now and let's call it, I don't know, December 14th. Uh, and then probably beyond December 14th, there's probably some upside risk associated with, again, the the, the market eventually moving to that pause. Um, we'll talk a little bit later. Beyond that, you know, we still have to kind of live in a world with a 5% uh, Fed terminal Fed funds rate and what that ultimately means for the economy. Um, we do believe we're headed for a hard landing uh, at the end of this rainbow. And unfortunately, that hard landing has not been adequately priced in. So um, 2023 is likely to be quite as volatile as 2022, just probably not um, kind of one direction to the downside. 